Have you ever heard about 5G technology? The fifth generation of mobile internet, or 5G, can be released this year in some countries. It promises a download speed 10 or even 20 times faster than other technologies, such as 4G. But have you thought about what difference this new technology will bring to our lives? The Federal Communications Commission of the United States and all telecommunication companies are highlighting this new technology as a big step since it will improve wireless communication. The benefits are more speed, lower latency, and more support for connections. Besides that, household appliances, drones, and cars all will be able to access Internet, which will allow these things to talk to each other and share information in real time. Amazing! Telecommunication companies are hoping that 5G can compete with, or maybe win over, cable TV and Internet. But don't be afraid. The complete transition from 4G to 5G can take more than 15 years. But why are we talking about technology in a health channel? Unfortunately, this news may not be so good for our health. The significant increase in exposure to electromagnetic, CEM, and radio frequency, RF, are things to worry about. According to Dr. Martin Paul, professor at the University of Washington and one of the main specialists in CEM in the world, the effects of CEM will lead to threats to our survival. In his research, done in mice, wireless radiation was pointed as the cause of cancer. According to the research, there were alterations in the brain and blood-brain barrier of these animals. Paul says that the effects of this technology include blindness, hearing loss or deafness, male infertility, nervous system disorders, thyroid disorders, immune system disorders, which can lead to autoimmunity, and low blood oxygen. Besides that, he says we are not the only ones who will suffer because of 5G. Plants, animals, and insects will suffer an even bigger impact than us. To Paul, the root of the problem of 5G is the lack of controlled tests about its influence on public health and environment. The two biggest worries about 5G are the frequency, which is higher, and the increased exposure of most people. Since nothing has been approved yet, and everything is still being tested, there is no need to worry. Did you know that it is possible to decrease our exposure to EMF? If you just want to stream some music or videos once in a while, keep using 4G and keep your devices away from your body. Another trick is to leave the Wi-Fi router away from your bedroom and other places you spend most of your time. Also, turning the router off at night can reduce your exposure by 33%. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.